so um, I'm Annie Hager. And I'm Brianna Provancha. From the USA, uh, Team Spirit Topsider. And uh, we sailed the 470. I'm originally from Wisconsin, East Troy, Wisconsin. Go cheese and cows. And uh, I met Brianna and when we went to university together in 2008? Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. Way back when. Um, I'm born and raised in uh, San Diego, California. And uh, I went to Boston College with this one. Uh, and we decided to team up together to do an Olympic campaign when we realized that we shared the same dream of winning a gold medal. So here we are. Here we are. Wonderful Santander, Spain for the ISAF World Championships. Uh, the pinnacle event, second to the Olympics, uh, in this quadrennium. So, these are what 40 cc yep. parking blocks, and we actually replaced them from the 20s, 20s, so that uh, the uh, sheet can run through them smoother. There's a knot up there uh, for your jive knots, and uh, it's really you. I like to use this line here instead of Spectra because it stays in, in the guy cleat. So to make that happen with a knot, we needed to upgrade to bigger blocks, so we made that adjustment. I transitioned from the track to just a traditional bridle system. Makes it a little bit simpler. You know, we're not too advanced on the boat, so just keeping it simple kind of seems to be working for us. I also changed a little bit around with the cleat that's traditionally here. Um, I felt as though I could fuel the boat a little bit better by not having the main sheet run through a top, um, I don't like know. Like this thing? Yeah, I'm not sure what you call this. But uh, so I took it off and it's been just trimming directly from this block, helps me feel the air a little bit better, um, especially in light breeze. So we also, for the jib uh, stanchions, use all Harkin. Um, these ratchets are really great. Um, you can also put these uh, stanchions in three positions. I like to roll with them uh, further aft. It gives me more versatility in the tack, so I can choose which uh, way I like to tack, um, forward or aft. But I will tell you something that we really, really love from Harkin, which is this wire block right here. We, um, It's taped currently, but we you, we have probably five or six of these uh, all over our boat. They're amazing. They're really high strength. They um, take a lot of load, and uh, we know we can trust them not to break on us, um, which is amazing, especially for our tension that probably carries the highest load on our boat. Um, for the vang as well. And for the vang, yeah, you can see we have it here. Um, it's very challenging. <laughs> I think uh, you learn something new every day. I think no matter how good you get, I think the top guys are all still making improvements and figuring out something new about the boat that they didn't know before. And I think that really says something to the, the way that the boat's being sailed now. And especially even with guys like Dave Ullman, you know, th those guys have had tricks up their sleeve for years and years. And even now, you know, we're reworking those and incorporating those. And I think it's just it's incredible how much this class has evolved and how much, you know, even having said that, how many you know, how much the older guys, the techniques we're still using that they've come up with years and years ago. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty a, amazing. It's a daunting boat to kind of step into <laughs> because there's so much going on, just literally looking at it. Um, so it's important, like Brie was saying, to start critiquing and fine tuning every little aspect of the boat. And we always say bite-sized chunks. If you kind of look at it as a whole thing, it's quite intimidating. So like having goals and really focusing on what you want to work on for the day has been challenging, but also super <laughs> rewarding because you're learning something every day. Yeah, yeah we use a um, McLube One Drop uh, for traveling to keep our blocks a little lubricated more of the time. The last time we actually used it was when we were transporting a boat from Long Beach to Rio for the test event. So when we got down there, Usually stuff gets pretty stuck in the containers and shipment, uh, but when we were down there, everything was running super well, so yeah. works, works its charm. Uh, thanks for, to Harkin for coming down and checking out our boat. Uh, make sure to follow us this week at teamhp470.com. And also our Facebook page, Brianna's got it covered. Uh -huh, Social yeah. media guru over here. Team Hager Provencia on Facebook. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, nice to see you guys. In yeah. Thanks for coming down. Thanks for coming down.